Yes, yeah, sir, baby. Good dubs. From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. All right, welcome into BBN Tonight. I'm Eli Gaines. I know my, and I'm Anna Tarullo, <laughs> and as Ty Ty Washington put it, good dub for the mm -hmm. basketball team last night. So tonight we're talking UK Vandy. Plus the dance team preparing for nationals. We have an interview with them coming up, and UK track star Abby Steiner gearing up for what could be one of the best seasons in program history. She'll join us in just a few minutes. But Anna, first got to start <laughs> with Anything that Oscar Sheboy That's does, right. you, you got to go with <laughs> you him. You got to, especially when it's 30 mm -hmm. points in 35 minutes. That's tonight's Big Blue Story presented by CHI St. Joseph Health. Oscar recorded his 12th double-double double of the year last night against Vanderbilt. And here's the crazy thing. Does it really feel that crazy for him? <laughs> no. no, it doesn't. Mm -mm. Oscar has made this seem pretty normal. He scored at least 20 points in six games already this season. He's the nation's leading rebounder. Mm -hmm. And in the, in the SEC, he's first in boards and field goal percentage, third in points per game, and fifth in blocks per game. He's been good. Um, all season, but recently he's been fantastic. I give you that confidence. Like, uh, they give me much confidence. Coach, he said, you are one one on the post, finish the ball. You are one one shoot it. Uh, double team, look for your teammates. And they trust me. I can do a lot of different things. They come down and look for me. Uh, since at the beginning, the uh, beginning of the season to now, I got a lot of confidence. Now I can I can see the floor really good when I'm I got the ball. You remember him early in the year, we couldn't make two footers with offensive rebound and throw it out. Um, now he's shooting jumpers, making free throws. You know, the, the, I don't want him to dribble the ball up the court. I'm not doing that. But i um, really happy to see how he's playing. If Cal Perry did let Oscar bring the ball up the court, I think BBN would probably support that decision <laughs> at this yeah. point, Eli. Everybody <laughs> loves him, and really, how could you not? And it all goes back to the offseason when we've had time to meet with Oscar. He just has an aura mm -hmm. about him. There's joy. Hopkins, just she wa boy. You want him to succeed mm -hmm. so bad. She and then boy. when you see the hard work that he puts in along with his personality yeah. and to see him succeeding, is awesome. absolutely fantastic mm -hmm. bbn we're let's soak this in because <laughs> right? he's one of probably the best players that is going to be coming through these doors at kentucky all right well the cats were without Xavier wheeler for really the third straight game last night since he only played about four minutes against lsu before being injured last week he was with the team in nashville so hopefully he's getting a little closer to returning but the other guards they've stepped up in his absence you look at ty ty has looked natural at the point guard position, and Davion Mintz has turned back into that dagger thrower we saw down the stretch last season. So as you can imagine, Coach Cal learning more and more about what his team can do without Wheeler on the floor. What it does is it tells me we got a second guy to put in pick and rolls and scoring opportunities. Um, and some of the stuff we're doing with him now, Ty Ty, we can do with him as an off guard. Dave Owens more of a scoring. He wants, that's his mentality. So he's not like those other two, like more of a pure point guard, but he can play the position and he played it well when I took Ty Ty out. And the numbers back that up. In the last two games, this is without Wheeler. Here's how those guards have fared in the box scores. Ty Ty been able to maintain his level of scoring at 16 per game. That's actually up from his season average, which is close to 14. And his assist numbers <laughs> have blown up, obviously, with help from last Saturday's 17-dish performance against Georgia and then against Vandy. He had four last night. And Davion Mintz, he's really thrived in the two spot, averaging 14 points a game and shooting a blistering 67% mm -hmm. from three. Eli, it's so good to have his confidence back. Yes, absolutely. And they need it so much. It, there's always these lulls in the beginning of the year where Kentucky struggles to mm -hmm. shoot, especially yeah. from beyond the arc. But yeah. Davion, just seeing what he was able to do last year and just have these stretches of hitting threes and getting a spark going, yep. uh, it's, it's phenomenal to see. Well, the Cats did have a double-digit lead in basically the entire second half. Eventually they won by 12. Could have been a lot more. Holy cow. Kentucky stretches lead to the largest of the game late into the second half. At one point, 
They were winning by 28 points. But the Cats did not score during the last six minutes and 14 seconds of the game. Well, the Commodores scored 16 points during that time to close out the game. And keep in mind, Kentucky starters weren't on the floor for some of that. Cal put Jacob Toppin, Bryce Hopkins, and Damian Collins in once the game seemed to get out of Vandy's reach. But in the end, it didn't really matter. A win is a win. And this one could have been a learning opportunity for those less experienced guys. I'm trying to get Damian in there. I want him to get going. I'm trying to get Bryce in there. But we got a core group that are playing pretty good and have played good for a while. And, and we're playing without Sabir right now. So, you know, Keon and Jacob, I'm liking that. I didn't get Lance and Dante in the game. If we would have finished the game right, they would have got in at the end. But I wanted to go with Damian today. I, I just like his shot blocking, our ability to throw him lobs. Damien's close, but he's still, you know, it's hard for a young guy that's not playing a whole lot. It's hard. Eli, it is good to see him in there and to get all kinds of those guys' experience. Yep, experience is key. You just need it. The women's basketball team has had another game postponed due to COVID-19 protocols. Mississippi State had to pull out of tomorrow's game because they didn't have enough players available. This is the fourth time Kentucky's schedule has been affected by COVID, and for now, their next game scheduled for Sunday down in Knoxville when they travel to play Number five, Tennessee, the Lady Volunteers. Kentucky track star Abby Steiner is being recognized on the national stage for her accomplishments already this season. The sprinter has been named to the Bowerman preseason watch list. She's one of just 10 collegiate athletes on that list. This year's finalists will be announced in June after the indoor season wraps up later this spring. Steiner now has two collegiate records with her name on them after she won the 300 meter race during Kentucky's first meet of the season back in December with a record breaking time of 35.8 seconds. What did you think about that performance? Competing the event and my first December meet. Um, I'm just feeling really happy to be back. Outdoor season, I miss a lot of just with injury. So I'm super grateful to be back, feeling healthy and like my old self and just having fun again in this environment. I miss it. Me and Coach Hall have been talking about that for a while. So we had always talked about 35 and that was always a goal of ours. So it was uh, really exciting just seeing all of our hard work that we've been doing since August come into place. And that was just a really rewarding thing. Steiner and the rest of the track team will be back in action at home this weekend for the Jim Green Invitational that will be held at the Nutter Fieldhouse on campus. Admission is free, so head out there Friday and Saturday to cheer on the Cats. And good news, we have an expert joining us next to talk about all of that. That would be Abby Steiner herself. <laughs> she joins the show right after the break.